One of the best ways to do lighting in Blender got an update in Blender 5, and it's the one and only, the physical accurate, and his name is the Sky Node. Before this update, Blender used to offer three types inside the Sky Node, and the Nishita is the cool guy there. But now, in Blender 5, the Nishita is divided into two, the single and multi-scattering type. The single is the basic look we used to get. Its vibe is quite good in many scenes, yet the multiple scattering one promises a more accurate lighting, a better scattering, which is visible once you switch to it, and it's more clear when you make it a night, because with the single type, this building will go dark really quick. It even turn black if the sun disk is too low. But once we go to the multiple scattering mode, you will get the night vibe you need, which is more accurate in physical lighting. And I think this is one of the best updates in this version. We also got the swap node menu back. They ditch it in Blender 4, but now we have it again. I do often use it with the Shift S shortcut, so that's great. The adaptive subdivision is now integrated into the version without the need to switch into experimental mode. And you need to make sure the subsurface is last in the list for it to appear, which if you don't know, can subdivide your mesh based on distance from the camera view. So might be handy in heavy renders. You can watch the last video to see more features coming up in Blender 5 or check out other dope tutorials in the channel. Stay sharp. Goodbye.